I think the water right portfolio management is really exciting for someone like me, where I get really excited about where new tech developments can help what I like to call low-hanging fruit. So with putting together these large portfolio managements, you'll have water right documents from the early 1900s that you have to somehow get into a technical database that we can share across the internet to a bunch of different clients and managers. So I think that's really exciting to you know, take an old scan document and make sure that it can fit well into a database that I can then display through GIS and a dashboard. And when there are multiple properties across the state, it just adds to that complexity that can be digested very well with technical tools. I think we sit in an interesting position of having folks who've been in the game for a very long time, so they know what the standard practice is. And then we also have some new folks that I've been really fortunate to be mentored by who come in, know the knowledge, and say, hey, I know this is standard practice, but this could really improve efficiency or this could really improve understanding of what's going on. So being able to pull from both of those brains of our data and GIS team, but also our seasoned water rights experts, and mending those minds together, um, I think that that is where we come up with some of our innovative projects.